What's going on everybody? I hope everybody had a great weekend. So today, we're actually gonna do a little uh, bell comparison. Oh yeah, more cowbell, baby. To all my new subscribers, Welcome to A Percussion Life. My name is Eric Perez. Some of y'all already know that by now, but I just had to say thank you for subscribing and I do hope that you uh, enjoy these videos. And if you haven't subscribed already, just hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button, find out whenever I'm uploading. And yes, we normally upload videos every Monday and Thursday, something new, something different, and uh, it's normally things that you request. And to all my day ones, woo! Man, I can't thank you guys enough. Seriously appreciate all the support, all the shares, man, all the just great comments and good feedback, man. And just people just reaching out to me and talking to me. And dude, trust me, I feel the love, man. And I feel the support. And uh, I seriously am grateful for each and every one of you. So as promised, I did want to do a bell comparison of the bells I received from my order from Meinl. And... Uh, Yes, I am pretty excited. I haven't really played on these yet, so they're not broken in, they're not anything. But I did notice that I didn't point out in the previous video when I did the unboxing that each one of these came with a little uh, muffle piece for each bell. So I got three of these things. And um, they also came with some stickers, so you already know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play each bell. I'm going to play them without the muffle pieces in them. And then I'm going to put the muffle pieces in them. So you can hear the difference that each one can do. And if you notice, I have these uh, crazy custom mini bongos. They're not, they're not custom, but they're pretty cute. My son's godfather got these for my son, man. He understood I was on Team Minel, so he got these. And it's pretty cute, man. It's, it's a pretty nice little design that they have here. And uh, you could tune it. And when he got them, my son, man, he was jumping for joy. He started banging on them, man. So I'll wait till he does a review on these. Oh, yeah. The beater I'm gonna use is the Minel Cowboy Beater. It's a synthetic beater, so it's pretty good. If you've ever played with just a pure wooden beater, obviously it's a lot better, but those normally don't last and they're, you know, they'll, they'll break on you mid-set and then you're kind of short when you're in the middle of playing and your bell beater kind of like messes up and breaks and chips off and, you know. You're there for the rest of the night, not doing anything, so. So the first one that I'm gonna show first, it's uh, the smaller one, the very interesting one. I've noticed that it's crazy high pitched and, um, but I know for a fact I'm gonna want this muffed. So uh, it's not muffed right now. You could really look into it and it's just like, yeah, nothing in there. So yeah, so check this one out. Pretty interesting. Most definitely going to muff that thing and I'm pretty excited to try to see how it's gonna sound with the tape on it. Now for the, I call this the, the black mamba. The black mamba. Oh yeah, look at, look at this thing, man. The black mamba. This thing is crazy. Let's try this thing out.
Yeah, a lot of ring on this one. So most definitely gonna muff this thing up. So I'm pretty excited to hear how it sounds pretty muffed. Now, la gorda, la gorda, la gorda. Woo, look at this thing, y'all. This thing is nice and fat. Look at that inside. It's a crazy, like, mouth opening. It's pretty nice. Um, yeah, this is going to be pretty interesting to try out. It has a nice size. It's balanced on the hand, even though it's kind of, you know, wide going up. But, um, me gusta. Let's try this out. My goodness, that was kind of lovely, y'all. Now, uh, let's try to put these things on and uh, see how they will turn out and uh, see what difference they make. So, uh, I put the muffles on. Pretty nice. It's a very noticeable difference with the muffle on. I actually enjoy this a little bit, a lot more actually with the muffs on them because yeah, it was too ringy for me, for my taste at least. But the fact that you have the option to either put just one muff on or two, that's pretty nice, so. I like it. Now time to put the muff on this one. All right, so I'll put the muff on this one. Pretty nice little view here, looking at it there. So, gotta love it. Uh, let's test this baby out. Still kind of ringy for me, but the muff does help a lot. I think uh, this is a pretty good bell for a specific setting where you want to be able to cut through a lot or at least enough. And you're looking for that kind of mid-low range. And uh, oh yeah, it's pretty fun. It looks so good. Um, feels good in the hands too, man. Just, just holding it like this, like it's not heavy. It's pretty well balanced and man. Oh yeah, you got to love that one. Now time for La Gorda. All right, so for this one, you could probably see here, there's a nice uh, fat look in here and then you could see that right there. So it's a lovely look. Let's, uh, let's test this baby out because I'm pretty excited for this one.
Oh yeah. That low one, man. Beautiful tone. So much better with it muffed, man. Yeah, Cause you know, it had a little bit too much ring for my uh, taste, especially on a low bell. But at the same time, you do want some sort of overtone to be able to cut through that low frequency that a low bell gives. But the muff, man, really helps it out, man. Gives it a nice little, like, more round and fuller sound to help you at least, like, be able to play. I think this is a good bell to record with eventually, man. So, uh, yes, definitely love these bells, man. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to play along one of the songs. This is, again, one of the tracks from Guy Guido. If you're interested in his tracks, I'm going to put his information below that you could uh, contact him. Just gonna play all the three bells in a song and you could see the difference and hear the difference between each portion of the song. So you could tell the importance of bells, man. There's there's an importance of bells, man, that causes you to, you know, it really depends what you what you want to be able to give, what you're trying to say with a bell, and literally how it goes with the genre or style of music that you're playing. It really depends, but I want you guys to hear it firsthand so you could hear just that difference, man. Just to, to kind of understand the impact each bell can do to just one song. So I do hope that you enjoyed this little demo I'm about to play for you guys. Comment down below too. Comment, let me know which bell you preferred, man. If you didn't like any of them, just let me know if there's one that stood out to you. Especially in the middle of the song. Sometimes to hear it in context is a lot better to understand which bell and why each bell sounds a specific way and what it gives. So I do hope you guys enjoy this demo.
gotta love bells, man. Bells, 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 bells. You gotta love bells, man. Bells for days. That's the instrument that I first started on. That's the instrument that I fell in love with first. I love cowbells, man. I love all types, all shapes, all sizes, all depths, all tones, man. There's there's a bell for everything, man. So it, it is it is truly a pleasure to play on these great bells, and I hope you guys enjoyed that demo. Y'all already know what to do. Like, subscribe. I will see you guys on Thursday. Have a great week.